Are you waiting for rates to drop? Here's some things to think about. Shannon, let them know. All right, so there's lots of people sitting out there waiting for rates to drop to buy a house. And I get it, we get it. However, let's think through some things that happen when rates go back down. So 2023 projections are over time rates are gonna drop. Yes, that is what is in the news projected. But right now we still have a pretty limited inventory on the market. So we look at basic supply and demand, right? So people are waiting. We're seeing some, you know, price reduction, seller concessions. People are able to negotiate a little bit, get it, you know, maybe the price down a touch. Great. But when rates drop, what happens to all these people that are waiting? They all come back into the market and they all are competing for the same limited houses and prices start to go up because you're in bidding wars and all of that fun stuff that we saw in 20 and 21 that people were so sad about because they couldn't get the houses that they liked and they had to pay way over asking and all of that good stuff. That's what's gonna happen to all these people who are waiting for rates to drop. They're all gonna come back at the same time when rates drop. And I'm not talking about a drop down back to where we were two years ago. I'm talking about a drop down a percent or two. So now is still a great time to buy. We might actually be in the sweet spot because even though the rate's a little bit higher, you still could maybe buy the house for considerably less. Just some food for thought. If you are one of the people out there sitting there waiting for rates to drop, that maybe you're missing an awesome opportunity to get a house you really like and be able to negotiate a little bit on it. So lots of information, lots of strategy. Reach out to us and we'll help you through it.